Wow, there I was, graduating out of high school, trying to figure out what I was going to do. Had all of these offers, didn't know which one I was going to pick, and boom, Eastern Kentucky University. That's the school I picked. Went all the way down to Richmond, Kentucky. I've never been down there. Country folks. Tobacco. Yeah, but guess what? Those boys can run. Here I am with a scholarship. I'm thinking I'm the man. I get down there, and guess what? Everybody they recruited was the man. They were the All-State, All-Americans, yes. And here I was, an All-City, All-State, honorable, honorable mention, and guess what? I had to run against everybody. I didn't understand. When I got down there, the competition was steep. Did I get a revelation? What was the revelation? You can be good in one city, and mediocre in another. But here was my defining moment. Was I gonna stay that way? What was I gonna do? I was there. Am I gonna sit on the sideline? Was I gonna be a traveling? So guess what I did? Not only did I do the work that they asked me to do, but when everybody left, I went back and did extra. Not only did I do extra, <clears throat> I remember I was looking up things, because at that time I had to go to the library. <laughs> I had to look up microfiche so I could look up past things. They didn't have what we have today. The internet was just coming out. And so guess what? I looked up past stories of different ones who had overcame. I looked up how did they be get faster and better. And to my surprise, they all did extra. So I did extra. And I told my coach at the time, I will be on the traveling squad. He said, as a freshman, you've got to have to beat out 10 people. Some was already naturally fast. Some was so gifted, it was amazing on what they were running. But I knew that if, with determination, consistency, and a little hard work, it would pay off. So to my surprise, I went day in, day out, two times a day. Sometime I did three times because at night before I went to bed, I would still go out and run 10 sprints. I would work on my strength. I would work on being in the gym. I would work on doing like half mile runs so I can be stronger for stamina. And one day the coach said, here it is. What are you gonna do? You have gotta run up against all 10 of my best sprinters, quarter milers. And I said, oh boy, let's do it. And that day I ran. And I beat the first one, beat the second one, beat the third one. I beat nine out of 10. I didn't beat the 10th one, but nine out of 10, that was pretty good. And my revelation was hard work pays off. My coach said, you're on the traveling team. Not only was we on the traveling team, guess what I did? I made the team to the Olympic trials. I went to the Olympic trials on the first squad. It was an amazing run. We ran 39 flat, the fastest we've ever run. And guess who was in the midst? That's right, yours truly. I had the revelation that hard work pays off. And I want you to know, hard work will pay off for you too. And guess what? It did. We came back with a trophy. We didn't make the Olympics that year, but we sure made the Olympic trials. And that was a great moment for me because I got to call my mother. Mother got to know about it, hear about it. And guess who else? Me. <laughs> I knew within myself that there was nothing that could stop me, nothing that could back me up, nothing that could ever tell me what I can't do. If I have consistence, persistence, and hard work, I'll be able to accomplish anything. And that's what my revelation was. Oh.